art lovers gathered to see various creative pieces on display at all corners of the venue. This particular piece of art left plenty of room for imagination. Kinshasa is one of the cities on the move in Africa when it comes to talent and artworks quality. Regarding music, our music puts the world to the dance floor. Regarding graphic art, we managed to touch the world. It was about time that the city set up a renowned event, a quality event here on the sport, so that we can say, okay, here's who we are, here's what we do, and so, Yango, that means, here it is. Though the Congolese are famous for their music and fashion, other forms of creative art have always been important to them. Organizers hope resource-rich DR Congo will give the art sector serious attention. There is no real policy to promote culture in this country, just talks about it, but in the real world, nothing. Anything being done now is the work of individuals who think that something is to be done about it. Congolese art is rich, enormously rich, but by now it is losing pace. Personally, I think that in the future we will see more Congolese artists emerging. It all depends on them, for the young Congolese artists have a huge potential. The festival is increasingly creating a lot of international interest in Congolese art, and this year's art festival attracted participants from across Africa, Europe and Asia. Maria Galang, CCTV.